Greetings again. We are going to try to do this problem and I brought this problem because it's really a very easy problem uh, until you start solving it. So basically what you have is something like this and you say okay in, in the y direction in y because it's symmetric the centroid is at B so here at the center if that distance is to B so now in X this is what we have something like that this is what happens at X remember this equation is that equation and X bar is the integral of X dA divided by the integral of dA so I have to find my dA, if I measure x in this direction, my dA is going to be this. That's going to be my dA. And this distance here is going to be, or is dx. So my dA basically is going to be this distance y. And that y is defined by that equation. So if your equation is x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared equal 1, and I have to solve for y, then y is going to be the square root of, I pass this term to the other side, it's going to be 1 minus x squared divided by a squared, multiply then by this, b squared, I multiply this here, and get common factor, and take b squared, a squared, out of the square root, and then this is going to be b over a square root of a squared minus s squared, or y, uh, and you can say now that differential of area is going to be that value, right? That value multiplied by dx. That value multiplied by dx. So my differential of area is going to be b divided by a times this, a squared minus x squared to the one half times dx. That's my differential of area. No problem with that. And if I have to solve now, x, my integral of x dA is going to be the integral of x multiplied by dA. And dA is this value here. b over a that multiplies a squared minus x squared to the one half dx. And that's the integral that we have to solve at least for this part. Well, this integral is not that complicated because you say you see this x dx here, and you see this x squared. This immediately rings a bell, and then you can do a unit a transformation of a variables, and you can say that I have a variable u, and it's a squared minus x squared. If this is u, then du is going to be negative two x dx, or dx is going to be equal to du or negative du divided by 2 x dx, right? x dx is going to be negative du divided by 2 and I have here x dx, so basically yes and I have b over a and I have this that is going to be u so if I do this substitution here then what you have is that the integral of x dA, and I'm not putting limits yet because I don't want to overcomplicate my my equation. It's going to be I'm going to take this outside of the equation as well as this negative value here. So it's negative one half. This dA goes outside of the integral also times the integral. And now this is going to be a du. And this is going to be u, right? So this is going to be u to the one half times the u. And then you just solve this integral, which is really easy because this is just going to be negative b divided by 2a. And this is u to the 3 half divided by 2 divided by 3 half also. This and this cancel out, so this is going to be negative b divided by a, multiply, and this is 3, right? By u, but u is this, 
value, I say that u is this, right? So it's going to be, I'm going to back substitute it now. This u is uh, this, a squared minus s squared to the 3 half divided by 3. There you go, easy. That part is not complicated at all. And if you thought that was the difficult part or the complicated part that I was referring to, no, sir. No way, Jose. Now, the other part of the integral, which should be the easier one, is the integral of dA. And that should be the integral of dA. But remember, we calculated our dA as this. So it's going to be the integral of this part. So it's going to be basically b over a integral of this. Like that. Now, for solving this equation, we have to use a trigonometric substitution. I'm going to say that x is equal to a sine of t. And if this is a, then dx is equal to a cosine of t dt. In other words, the, and I'm going to forget about this and I'm going to work only with the integral now, okay? I'm going to keep that ba to the end. I'm just going to solve this square root of a squared minus s squared uh, dA. D, why is this dx? This is dx. Okay. Now I'm going to, to solve this equation here. If I solve this equation and I do that, then this is going to be the integral of a squared minus this square, which is going to be a square sine square of t, square root of that, times dx, but dx is a cosine of t dt. Now, if I take this common factor a here, then this is going to be outside of the square root. It's going to be a that multiplies the square root of 1 minus sine square of t. And then you have a cosine t dt. So basically, this a and this a multiply, so it's going to be a squared times the integral of, what is this? Remember, cosine squared t plus sine squared t equal 1, so 1 minus sine squared t equal cosine squared t, and this is a square root, so the square root of this is going to be a square root of that, meaning this is going to be equal cosine of t. And I have cosine of t multiplied by cosine of t. So I have cosine square of t dt. Now, once again, now we have this, but this is not solved. This is just a transformation of this one so far. Now we can say that, we can say two things. First of all, cosine of square of t uh, Well, we can solve this, but we can say first use this property for finding the uh, for finding this. We can use the cosine of the double angle. Cosine of the double angle is going to be two cosine square of t minus one. That's cosine of the double double angle. So if we have cosine of the double angle is this, then I can solve for cosine square, which is going to be this. Uh, Pass it to the other side, divided by 2, so it's going to be cosine of 2t plus 1 divided by 2. So I'm going to put this instead of that. Then this 2 goes outside, so I have a squared divided by 2. The integral of this, which is going to be cosine of 2t plus 1 dt. And then I solve this, and this is going to be a squared divided by 2 integral of cosine of 2t dt plus a squared divided by 2 uh, in 
integral of dt and if you solve this basically the integral of this is going to be sine because the derivative of sine is cosine um, but they have to divide by 2 because of these two here so then it's going to be a squared divided by 2 sine of 2t divided by 2 plus this one is going to be a squared divided by 2 and the integral of dt is t uh, but before remember we said this so I'm going to get this value and I'm going to put it here back now yeah that's going to give me something re regarding uh, the angle but uh, I don't know too much about that because when I solve for this right I have sine here now I say that remember x is equal to a sine of t that means that sine of t is equal to x divided by a if that is correct then I can say that if this is the angle t x is going to be this value and the hypotenuse is going to be this one meaning this other one here is going to be the square root of this square minus this square in that triangle so now I have sine of 2t here why I'm doing this because so f because sine of 2t is 2 sine of the angle cosine of the angle so if I say here a squared divided by 2 2 times sine t cosine t divided by 2 plus a squared divided by 2 multiplied by t then I have now the cosine here I can say that the cosine using the same the same formula that I have here I can say now cosine t is the hypotenuse, the, the adjacent square root of a squared minus x squared divided by the hypotenuse, which is a. Now I can put that in here. So I say a squared divided by 2, that multiplies 2 sine t, but sine t is x divided by a times cosine t, but cosine t is a square root of a squared minus x squared divided by a yes uh, divided by 2 plus a squared divided by 2 t now if you remember what we say about t we say that sine t it was x over a that means that t is going to be the inverse sine of x divided by a so I go back to this equation here this is a times a is a squared so this this and this it's going to cancel out and this and this is going to cancel out also so then I have x that multiplies this divided by 2 plus this times t but t is this sine negative 1 of x divided by a so this is actually the solution of this so my integral of dA actually is b over a that multiplies this uh, this and now we can apply our equation because in our equation remember we have that x bar is the integral of x dA divided by the integral of dA so x dA we had it from before where is x dA integral of x dA x dA x dA here we got it from before it's negative b over a times this so this is going to be negative b over a times 
a squared minus x squared to the 3 half divided by 3 divided now by the new factor that we got which is v over a times all of this thing here on the denominator x squared root of a squared minus x squared divided by 2 plus a squared divided by 2 sine to the negative 1 of x divided by a that's basically what we got this and this cancel out here and remember this is going to be evaluated now between 0 and a because this is the way I'm measuring it remember this distance is a so between 0 and a now I can do the evaluation between 0 and a and between 0 and a well if this is a here the top part is basically going to be 0 right so this is going to make 0 the equation and um, if this value here now is 0 then the top part is going to be negative but with this negative it's going to be positive so you have 0 so this is going to be a squared to the 3 half so this and this cancel out it's going to be a to the third divided by 3 in the numerator and in the denominator is going to be okay this is going to be 0 here this term is 0 here and this term is here so the whole thing is going to be if it's a is 0 but if it's 0 here this is multiplying also this part so this is going to be 0 and then you have sine of negative uh, inverse sine of 0 here no in this case is 1 because it's okay this is the top part the bottom part when this is okay for the top part for the top part we have a to the third divided by 3 now from the bottom part if this is 0 that means that this here is going to be 0 as well right and this is going to be inverse sine of 0 which will be 0 so this thing is going to be 0 completely if it's a now the, this term is going to be 0 but this term is going to be a squared divided by 2 sine of negative 1 so inverse sine of a divided by a which is 1 and the inverse sine when the sine is is 1 that means that we are in 90 degrees which is p half so this is going to be a3 divided by 3 divided by a squared divided by 2 and this value is p half or pi half so if this value is pi half now you have this here, this and this cancel out, this is second, this is 4, 4 passes up, 3 goes down, so it's going to be 4a divided by 3 pi, and that's your x bar. And you see, and the problem was extremely easy when you got up to this point, because it's just setting up the differential, setting up that, and solving it. Now, if you go to the books, or as you like to do, some of you go to the solution menu, uh, they go up to the point where they presented this, and then they presented this, and they say, by using integral tables, and they give you this. But this is not the idea, right? The idea is that you have to solve it. So, of course, I'm not going to ask you these type of problems that complicated like that, or I will try not to at this in exam. But uh, remember, you saw this material before. You should be able to do it. Okay? Have a good day.